Hello class and welcome back to AP Computer Science Principles. I am Professor Cunningham and today we are going to talk about yet another number based system, hexadecimal. Now this shouldn't be a big leap because we've already talked a lot about the base 10 decimal system that we use in our day to day lives and a lot about binary, the base 2 system that computers use. Hexadecimal is another number system that follows the exact same principles, except it's designed to be able to make very, very large numbers in a small number of characters. Let me show you what I mean. So to start with, the first 10 digits, or I suppose hexadigits, in hexadecimal are the exact same ones that we are already used to. We start with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six, seven, eight, and then we get to nine, and we've now run out of symbols. But again, in hexadecimal, we need 16 separate symbols to fill one spot before we move on to the next place value. So what are we gonna do? We could just come up with symbols for 10, 11, 12. Uh, other cultures have done that in the past, but I think what we're going to do is take advantage of another widely known pattern of symbols, the alphabet. So we're just gonna go ahead and say that 10 is A. That makes 11 B, 12 is C, and so on. 13 is D, 14 is E, 15 is F, and that's all we need. We need 16 symbols, so the highest number that we can make with one hexadigit is 15. See my previous videos on binary and decimal if you need a refresher on why that works. So if I'm going to be counting in hex, I would start with zero, and then I would go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 is A and then 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And when I got to F, which is 15, now that I've reached the maximum that I can make with one symbol, I now need two symbols. To make the number 16, it would be one zero. Now I know, I know, it looks like 10, but remember in binary, that number would be two. Numbers mean different things in different base systems. We have our ones place, or our 16 to the zero place. Remember, anything to the zero power is one, except for zero, don't get into it. This is our 16 to the one place. So what we have here is one 16 and no ones. We have one 16 and zero ones. So we've got a total of 16 if we write it in our standard decimal notation. Okay, here we are again. Ah, this brings back memories. Remember that the very first digit here is still the ones digit. The second one is the 16s digit. Just like with binary and decimal, each space multiplies by 16. And then this place value that currently has a zero in it is times 16 again, which makes 16 squared or 256. That is the 256 spot. So that means that any number up to 255 can be made with only two hexadigits. I hope you can see the utility of that. It means that we can take really big numbers and compress them into a small number of symbols, saving processing power and memory. We'll talk a lot more about that later. Okay, so we have a zero in the 256 spot, so nothing there. We have a two in the 16 spot, so two times 16, which is 32, we'll get back to that. And remember, A represents 10, so 10 ones. There's 10 ones, two 16s, and no 256s for a total of 42. Please feel free to check my math on that. Now, one last question before I go. What do you think is the largest number that I could make with three symbols in hex? Well, I will give you one hint. It consists of, as before, taking the highest value symbol and filling all three spaces with it. F, F, and F. So you could, if you wanted, do all that math, do the multiplication, do the addition, and figure it out. But 
if you go back to my previous videos on other number bases, there is a much faster and much easier way to figure out what is the largest number you can make in hexadecimal with three spaces. But I'm going to leave that as an exercise for you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.